Starting today, California is no longer requiring masks in high risk and health care settings like hospitals. Joining us now is Dr. Vanessa Walker. Dr. Walker, good morning. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Good morning. So first of all, should patients be concerned about this changing mask requirement? Um, you know, I think everybody has been, you know, we've all been wearing masks for three years now. We're, we're kind of all tired of it. And this is just showing the, I think, appropriate evolution of how we need to be handling this pandemic. So uh, everybody who's coming into the healthcare setting, all of the healthcare workers, if they're feeling ill in any way, shape or form, they will be wearing a mask to protect you um, from them. And vice versa, if our patients are uh, having any symptoms that would be consistent with COVID, we would be testing them and we would know if they have the, the illness and we would make sure that everybody coming in contact with them would be protected and masked up. So um, it's gonna be kind of business as usual at the hospital when it comes to taking care of patients. It's just that while we're walking around the floors and going into the cafeterias, things like that, we're not going to be required to wear the masks anymore. But Dr. Walker, speak on behalf of, of medical professionals, is there still a concern? I mean, with coming in contact with patients who are ill and having to have that conversation to perhaps ask them to put on a mask or the professionals, you know, needing to wear a mask or not, are there still some concerns from, from the medical community about this change? There are definitely concerns. I know that there are groups that, that would like to see the mask mandate continue. Um, I think that really we're at a point that you can take your own personal risks um, into account, uh, decide if you should be wearing a mask to protect yourself, or like I said, if you're feeling um, any kind of symptoms of a cold or something, you make sure you wear a mask to protect others. But um, at, with how many people we have vaccinated, with how many people who have actually had COVID now, and those who have hybrid immunity, um, we're really looking at very few people now who are at very high risk of having hospitalization and death. Uh, so we're, we're at the point that you really need to get back to more of that normal feeling. It is hard to communicate with patients with a mask on. Many elderly patients can't hear us. Um, they're unable to, you know, people rely on, on reading lips in order to kind of make sense of things. They can't see our emotion. It's very hard to deliver tough news to somebody when half of your face is covered. So I think those of us that are really interested in protecting ourselves or our family, we can continue to wear masks and that's and the hospitals will provide those for them. But for everybody else, um, we need to make sure that we can get back to providing that face-to-face -face contact, um, that more human contact to take better care of our patients.